Okay, today I'm making a custard. In here, I have three eggs, a pinch of salt, basically about an eighth of a teaspoon, right around there, not much. One to two teaspoons of vanilla, depending on how much flavor you like, and about a half a cup of coconut sugar. Now, I like to use coconut sugar because it's got a high mineral content. I'm not a big proponent of the whole glycemic index thing, so I don't really pay attention to it, but you know, it's better on the glycemic index as well. But anyway, it's just, I like it because the flavor is good and it's uh, high mineral content. So I'm just whisking everything together and getting it all put in. I have the oven preheated to 350. I have my uh, little kettle here. This has uh, got some water in it coming to a boil because I have to cook this in a bath. All right. Now that that's whipped up and combined, I've got my, I have two and a half cups of half and half right here. Now you can use whole milk if you want. If you want something with a little less calories, I suppose, I don't understand why you would. I've made this with whole cream as well. And you use the same proportions for everything, but uh, all you do is you just change out the type of dairy that you're using. Like I said, whole milk works great as well if you want something a little lighter and fluffier, if you want something a little heavier, a little denser, um, and then half and half is great. If you want even heavier and denser, yes, like I said, I've used complete whole cream. Now that little custard was about 2,000 calories uh, for the whole thing, but uh, um, in this case, it's it's gonna be about, probably about 1,000, a little less than half, actually. But uh, really good stuff. You can hear my water's a boiling. Let me go ahead and turn that off. And what I'm doing is I'm heating up the half and half. So I want the half and half to be kind of warm. And the reason why you want this or the, the liquid to be warm is because you want it to dissolve the sugar when you put it into the mixing bowl. So here we go. I got this. Now, the, the key to this is, is you don't want to pour it straight in. You want to dribble it in nice and slow. So we'll bring this over here. Usually, again, I do this in the sink in case I cap, catch a mess. So I'm just going to start mixing and I'm going to just drip this in nice and slow. And the reason why you want to go slow is, is when the half and half is warm, if it's too warm, it'll cook the egg. You don't want to cook the egg before you put it in the oven. You want to basically temper this mix to dissolve the sugar. So this is basically what I'm doing, is you want to put it in nice and slow so it dissolves the sugar. And as you get more and more full, you can basically pour it all in, but uh, the, at least minimum, the first half, you want to pour it in nice and slow. As far as the temperature of the half and half, you want to get it up to about, I don't know, 130, 120, 130, 140 degrees. You want to just barely start seeing wisps of uh, moisture or steam coming off of it when you add it in. You don't want to get it too hot. Again, you'll, you'll cook the eggs but you want it warm enough to dissolve the sugar. Okay, to put this all together, the oven is preheated. My water is boiling. I'm gonna open up the oven. Here's my pan. I'm gonna put this, oven mixture, bloody hot, in there. I'm gonna take my mixture. I'm gonna pour it in. And no, this does not need to be buttered or anything. I'm going to put this into the pan. I'm gonna take my boiling water and I'm going to put this in. And what you want is probably about a half an inch, a quarter of an inch from the top of the mix in that pan. Now that that's poured in, I'm gonna center this. And I'm gonna put this and again, be really careful when you slide this in, otherwise you're gonna get some hot water on your hand and it's not very pleasant. Nice and slow, push this into the center, close this up. Cook time, I'm gonna start out with 45 minutes. See what I end up with. Okay, here's the story. 45 minutes, the timer just went off. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna stick a giant skewer in to see if it's done. If it's done, it comes out clean. So, this, yeah, put this up here. Just pull it out. Be careful, don't splash the water around too much. Right in the middle, like that, and come out. And that, there's a tiny little bit of schmutz on top, but that's from the wet 
uh, top of it, the rest of it looks really pretty clean. So this, my dear friends, is one done flan or custard. So to pull it out, be very, very careful. You don't want to splash that hot water around. What I do for this is I pull this all the way over the edge and then I just simply take it out. So that is one done custard. Nice golden brown on top. The water bath kept it from burning along the sides and, and the edges. So that's what the water bath is for. Um, the most important thing at this point is, is just set it down, let it cool down a little bit, and then stick it in the fridge, preferably overnight. The bigger the flan or custard it is, like this one, the longer it's going to take to cool off. If you have smaller flan or uh, ramekins, specifically like you know the little ones, the little, little individual servings, then those will take a little less time to cool off. But the longer this cools off, the better the flavor. Enjoy!